let's go to uh, speaking with Mr. Uh, Payam Naqshbandi, that he, uh, he is also a, uh, uh, leading a German company investment project, uh, which is doing international export. So could you please let us know more about your activities and uh, how, how, what have you been done previously? Sure, thanks for this uh, opportunity. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working for MG International Transport, which is a logistical company since 1970s. Uh, we are specialized in agriculture, uh, especially agricultural equipment like uh, you know shovels, uh, whatever you need for the agriculture, for the ground. And uh, I would like to start with the, with the point that, in, in, as per my experience, I've been working with this company for, for the 11 years. We've been only importing, not exporting. So basically, we bring in our trucks for the uh, fertilizers, for the agriculture equipments and machines, but we never exported anything out of KRG. What's the reason for that? The reason for that, of course, um, the agriculture sector, of course, was not strong enough, first of all. But we, uh, for example, a truck will cost you $2,000 from Istanbul to here, but to ship it back, it can only cost you like 1000 or less. So why sending a truck empty back to Turkey? Why not fill it up with the, you know, with the local pomegranate or, or um, you know, the, the corns? Kurdistan is very famous for corns. And also the fertilizers. I mean, we have the, we have the Dutch, uh, Netherlands, of course, the experience of how to do it. We have the machines. And now we have also support. We have to support the farmers. It's the first stage that we have to do. Give the farmers what they need. Mm -hmm. Give them land, give them machines, and give them support, give them also the experience. Teach them, uh, young generation is what we need. And uh, of course, you know that you know, Kurdish culture is, is filled uh, with the experience of the agriculture as well. This is not something new for us. Yeah. We just have to, so how, you know. Uh, sorry, how large is your investment in terms of money? How, sorry? Large your investment is like the large of investment. You know, it could be it could be small things. It doesn't have to be like uh, money. It yeah. could be uh, basically a piece of land. Mm -hmm. It could be some machines that what we have done before. You know, Toyota before they have uh, spread the, the pickup trucks for mm -hmm. the uh, for the farmers. Well, this is something nice. And now we have to give them not only pickup trucks, also give them some harvesting machines. This yeah. is what they need, and also give them the experience how to plant it. Potatoes, for example. We don't have to bring potatoes from outside. Eggs. Eggs? Come on. Uh, what about uh, corns? The corns, Kurdistan, is like, you know, when you go to Soleimania or when you go to Dohok, used to be filled with the, uh, you know, sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, you can use it for, uh, you know, for, I'm sure that also this gentleman here, he, he agrees with me, that you can use it for, for oil, for, for many other, uh, you know, uh, methods, basically. Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. Ma, uh, Payam, how do you find uh, to, uh, if we produce this product production, how easy it is to uh, Kurdistan access to the international markets to market their products? Yeah. Of course, it's very easy. Is there know. any study, sorry? There, I mean, what, what uh, I would like to address this subject to the, of course, the authorities here. It's very important to do zero export tax for these uh, local vegetables yeah. or I've whatever. I've heard that the export uh, process takes ages and then you lose the client. Exactly, outside. exactly. Yeah. So for example, you know, when you do transportation, normally you have the documentation, which is the CMR, you got a packing list, you got the commercial invoice, you got the certificate of origin, you got the certificate of conformity, certificate. These certificates, we have to cut it down. And I would like to address this to um, Her Excellency, Ms. Beggard here, uh, that if we, apply zero tax mm -hmm. and very smooth export process, especially for the local uh, products, you know, for the, for the vegetables, for whatever you would like to export, especially pomegranate, for example, is the, mm -hmm. is the season now from Halabja, Halabja Shahid. And uh, if you uh, basically provide a proper packing mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, some, some sort of uh, Ministry of Agriculture permission, that, that should with, be enough. Yeah, yeah within, within a few hours, you should be able to export your product. And you can, you can put it in an international market. You can put it in Mersin, for example, and ship it outside 
to anywhere you like. If you bring it to the mayor scene, you can, you can ship it to, for example, to, to Europe, to, to America, to, to Africa, to anywhere you like. Why we, I mean, we get in banana here, right? Mm -hmm. You know, this banana is not coming from here. This banana is coming from far away from here. Yeah. Through what? Through the shipping companies, which is the bill of lading. You make a, you know, you, you make a bill of lading and you ship it. And, uh, and you, can, you can do it by, by pallets, you can do it, you know, slowly. You can do it very slowly they just by make pallets it and containers. Yeah, you can put, it, put them in a 40 feet uh, refrigerated containers because, you know, we have very hot weather coming in summer. Yes. Uh, and in summer, it could be quite hot. The, 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 you know, the vegetables and the fruits could be easily destroyed. So if you, if you do a proper packing and a proper uh, shipping and containerized, then, then so, uh, you so can the easily reach to the final Kurdistan destination. Uh, is accessible to the Middle East and the Europe easily and quickly? Very, very easy, as per my experience. Very easy, unless government puts obligations for us, this is not going to be easy. Less. But if government support us to export, this is going to be uh, very, very profiting for KRG. And we are talking about, you know, if, if government says 10 years, no tax for export, after 10 years, you can even uh, charge the investors, whoever is, uh, is harvesting. It could be private sector, it could be, it could be anyone. It doesn't have to be government. It could be one uh, great farmer with a great experience who is planting some pomegranate and would like to ship it to, to Africa, for example, Thank you know, you to, so. to Europe. You know, in Europe, I know that many, many people, they, they ask for such a great pomegranate here and corns and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah? But, um what can be done to... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make it easy, okay? Mm -hmm. I, the, the agriculture doesn't happen in one day. It's not like any other business. It's not like oil and gas. It's not like, um, let's say, health sector to say, I bring this equipment and everything will be fine. When we talk about agriculture, we talk about future. And the future, it could be a year. It's like, it's like your garden in a house. Like, look at your garden. When you, when you make your garden, first you only have the soil. Then you, you think, you say, okay, I want orange, and I want apple, I want this, I want this, I want that. So today, you know, we are in, in, in January 2022. Let's think about January 2023, uh, uh, 20, for example. You say, okay, in, in after one year, I would like to have this, this, this in my garden. And Kurdistan is our garden, to be honest with you. And as Michael mentioned here, it's very rich. Our land is very rich. Let's use it, and let's use it properly. Let's not make a mess. Let's, let's make a, a proper yeah. assessment of the ground. Let's make a, let's use IT. Let's use the glasses. The let's use the, you know, these, these, uh, these, these fiber houses. It's, uh, let's also use, this, it's very important uh, point I would like to mention here. Let's use solar. We don't have to bring a generator to yeah. provide this. If we, if we use solar and, and, and make a glass house and then fertilize whatever we want, this is the future. And we are talking about feeding the poor, which we have poverty, strong poverty, and we have to finish that. And what happens, you know, if you, if you farm well, you can, you can easily feed the poor, poor uh, with, the, with the potatoes. If you have potatoes, then you're not hungry, for example. If you have strawberry and berries, then you're not hungry. Then, then you, fi you fix, you don't have to work. And, and farmers, they can even export. When you export, you make a lot of money. And this money you can reinvest for whatever the sector you would like to do it. It is. Yeah. Let's focus first on our own Kurdistan. Or Correct. Import, yeah? Correct. <laughs> Before going to the next yeah. step to yeah. export. Let's feed ourselves. Yeah, feed uh, ourselves first. Let's feed ourselves, then let it feed the world yeah. as well. As we have a strong land and let's use it. Kakpam, how many uh, employees did your company have? We have 10. Okay. 10 employees. Ten. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not, we're, not, no, uh, we're not <laughs> saying that we have hundreds. Of, we used to have a lot of people working for us, okay. but unfortunately, due to the COVID and economy and all of this, mm. all the crisis that happened to Kurdistan, we had to reduce it. Yep. Um, and uh, but nevertheless, we think this year is better. We already see a movement in the market, and uh, and, and and hopefully, I mean, let's let's pray that uh, it will be even better. Mm. You know, we have such a nice uh, snow right now. We have water coming up. And, and this water, you know, when the snow is melting, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be very benefiting the ground of Kurdistan. And let's hope that this, this uh, water is, is rahmat and it's mercy Thank from you. God to, you know, for a new hope. Thank you so yeah, much, Mr.